right, today's lesson is about respecting your community. Let's see if I can get this bigger so we can all see it. Okay, so respecting your community. First, you need to know what a community is. So in the book, the definition says, a community consists of a group of people with common interests who live in a certain area. Look around your community. What evidence of respect and pride do you see in public spaces? Are sidewalks and streets, parks, playgrounds, libraries, and recreational centers clear, clean and well-maintained? Are they in despair and littered with trash? I know the community we live in, it seems like it is pretty clean. I do see trash sometimes, though. Okay, so respecting your community involves doing your part to take care of it. This includes depositing of trash in appropriate places. It means refusing to vandalize or destroy public or private property. It means refusing to paint graffiti, unwanted drawings, and writing on walls and other property. When you respect your community, you take care of public property whether library books or playgrounds, as if it were your own. And I know, like, with graffiti, I, I've i seen, like, some really neat, like, graffiti art, and I love it. I love the colors. I love the bright neon colors and everything. But, you know, that there are places where it belongs and there are places where it does not belong. And anything that's, like, hate-type stuff that you see, um, I it should definitely be cleaned up, taken care of, um, and because it's not wanted in a community. Okay, um, so it says here, at home, your, oh, let me scroll down, hang on, forgot about that. See, there's some trash right there. See, nobody wants to look at that, that litter, it's ugly, yuck. Okay, so at home, your home was the first community you ever lived in. Your home is where you learn to respect yourself and your family. As a teen, you show respect at home when you act with consideration for the feelings of family members, including differences of opinions and others' mistakes, take initiative and help out willingly around the house. So if you notice that you're putting trash in the garbage can and it's full, take the trash out. Uh, clean up after yourself. So the glass that you just drank with that was full of milk, take it to the kitchen, rinse it out, put it in the sink or in the dishwasher or wash it out. Take responsibility for your actions and not blame others for your mistakes. So sometimes you have to say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. It might be hard to do, but try to do that. Follow rules, including curfews, and tell the truth about what you do and who you're with. Treat the possessions of others with care. So this is respecting your community and at home. I'm going to go ahead and put your notes up for today. So you'll probably have to pause this video in order to take your notes. Okay, so a community consists of groups of people with common interests who live in a certain area and you should have that written down on your um, notes already, but that's just uh, one of your vocabulary words. Another one is vandalize, and it means to destroy public or private property. And then the third vocabulary word that you should have written down is um, graffiti is unwanted drawings and writings on walls and other property. And that's the end of this lesson for today.